We began with a jewelry heist carried out so expertly, so subtly, it happened in broad daylight in front of witnesses who didn't even realize anything was happening at all. And here's exclusive surveillance video. This shows part of the heist. It looks like a man is just wheeling a trash can down the street, but what's in that trash can is worth more than a half million dollars. News 4's Mark Santia has more of this exclusive video and reaction from the victim. A bustling 18th Street in the middle of Manhattan. It's here you're about to see a bold jewelry heist ripped from a Hollywood script. This is setup day for an antique jewelry and watch show at the Pavilion last month, and police say the guy you see here with the gray hair wearing a mask and black clothing is not an employee. He's a thief. It does happen in the blink of an eye, and when you least expect it. A blink of an eye is all it took for this thief to swipe a box of jewelry, put it into a trash can, and calmly push that trash can across 18th Street along with his partner in crime. What was in that box? A collection of jewelry Julia Rover spent her life gathering. Honestly, my greatest sadness. The, 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 all of these pieces are unique Um wearable pieces of art. Julia is well known in the industry and is currently out of state. She's an antique jewelry specialist and was setting up when the stranger snuck up and stole more than just precious metals. He stole history. The average age of these pieces is 150 years old. Um, some go back as much as uh, actually bordering 300. These are some of the stolen pieces, intricate bracelets and rings and necklaces. All these pieces are rare and unusual and in, in, have survived all this time in amazing condition. The NYPD major case squad is working with the New York State Police to find the jewelry thieves, three men and one woman. The crew is also linked to another heist last month at the Javits Center. In total, they've stolen more than half a million dollars in jewelry. But as Julia stresses, with some of these pieces, you can't put a price tag on them. It really would be, um, it would be quite a tragedy if these items were destroyed. In Chelsea, Mark Santia, News 4 New York.